describe the degrees of variation of life on Mars. So it, so it is generally a study of microorganisms, plants, and animals, also ecosystems such as coral reef, forest, rainforest, or in a bigger scale such as desert and etc. Come certain region biology. Also, it's being a multi-disciplinary science that develops how to address the loss of biology diversities. So, its main field of study has two central goals. First, to develop, to develop a human impact on biology diversity. And second, to develop a practical approach to prevent extinction of a certain species. And for ecology, it's a branch of biology which focuses on the examination of living organisms natural environment, and how they interact with this environment, and also how they interact with human beings. So, there are three levels of biodiversity. There's genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. So, genetic diversity. There's variation at the genetic level, which means it involves genes, alleles, or nucleic acids. Um, represents the raw material for evolution and adaption. adaptation. And, uh, thus, diversity leads to uniformity, meaning the whole species turns into one type of animal where their genes become identical. And in the long term, that's not good because once a, a disease comes and affects one person or one animal, it spreads amongst the entire species because they can't adapt anymore. Um, one example being monocultures. Um, but you can see that on these potatoes, that they're all different. So for example, if uh, a disease attacks one of the species, it won't affect all of the other ones, meaning some others will survive according to natural selection. And so uh, the ones that are all the same, genetically identical, are the ones that are called monocultures, which become all susceptible to diseases or rapidly changing conditions. Next, there is species diversity, which is variation at the uh, visible level, meaning that there are patterns, sizes, and the place that these animals or uh, organisms live are visibly different. So you can see them with the naked eye without the thingy. <laughs> What's it called? Yeah, the microscope, which is what you need for genetic diversity. Um, so they're easier to conceptualize and have been the basis of um, evolution categorizing since a long time ago because back then scientists didn't have um, molecular level genetics. So, um, in an example, these frogs live in some ecosystems, but you can see with your naked eye that their physical appearance is different and so they are different species. So lastly, there is ecosystem diversity, which is that diversity in habitats and natural communities. Um, and as you can see, there's prairies, coral reefs, desert, desert. <laughs> and so um, all of these are different ecosystems with different sets of species in the main set. So I think that you, unless you're vegetarian or vegan, in which case you're but you probably eat sushi. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so does this. And this. <laughs> and lastly, this. It looks delicious, right? It's okay, I'm guilty too. But have you seen this? That's right, you're responsible for the death of thousands and thousands. Not only thousands, actually, several thousand billion fishes in the fishing industry everywhere. You did this. So one of the threads that we chose for global biodiversity is that over exploitation, which is over fishing, over hunting, and over harvesting. Every year 2700 billion fish are being killed. And then with that it's every day around 7 billion 397 billion. 260,000 and 273 fish are killed. So, how is this a threat? First, we have extinction. Loss of apex predators resulting in catastrophic consequences in marine ecosystems. Wait, but Jane! <laughs> yeah! What are the apex predators? Is it like sharks or is it the tuna? Is the tuna cause sturgeon and worm? Okay! Second of all, we have dying ecosystems. Coral reef bleaching effect.
effect resulted by the loss of herbivorous fishes, resulting in toxins out of from the seaweeds, killing the corals, which result in a bleaching effect. And all of these concludes to the destruction of marine ecosystems. Yes? So does the coral turn white? Yes! results in destruction of marine ecosystems, which by some people, like the researchers, they have pronounced that by 2000, 2050s, variety of fishes in the ocean will be smaller than now. Also, food and agriculture organization have suggested, has concluded that fish stock has this line declined from 19% is biologically sustainable in our life. The main problem we have is the mainland China. <laughs> so the conflicts between China and the other other countries such as Taiwan, Philippines, Vietnam, Brunei, Malaysia, and Korea is that people from Chinese and China is crossing the border in order to fish more because they have no fishes in their land. And Yeah. 